what is going on everyone i am the wide martian um yeah so today i'm gonna actually give you a demo or like a preview of the app that i was talking about on the previous video that i made uh, i'm gonna put the link in the description um <clears throat> but you don't need that actually uh to understand what's going on here anyway so i managed to run it actually because i hadn't ran it in like a long time and this was built off Ionic uh, node. So uh, yeah, so I managed to get it running actually without any extra configuration. Yeah, so this is usually what you would get on the main screen. Um, so it kind of give you like a overview of what it is. So you sign up, you add your uh, card information and it's stored in a secure vault, yada, yada. And then you buy some stickers make deposits by buying stickers and stickers represent each payment made using your card and then after a certain amount you request the payout and then you pretty much get your money so that was it it was like a fun savings kind of app cool now let's get started oh and it worked off your phone number as well because i used i used the phone number for a lot of things i wanted to be tied to your phone number as most banks kind of app usually do it so that was the, that was the thinking behind that cool after let's get started then you would usually meet your usual email and password and if you had signed in before it would ask you for your pen uh, instead gonna log in sign in signing in so this is the home screen where you had your stickers and basically you could purchase a sticker if you want to purchase this one and then under the transaction tab you had all the stickers you had purchased on the profile screen you had your profile details phone number email and your account balance on the settings page you pretty much had something settings you are resetting your password you can set up a pin because you can do a pin login if you wanted uh, but that needs you to verify your number. It can deactivate your account. And that's the bottom navigation. And then the side navigation had your payouts. I mean, requesting a payout and pretty much just checking your, your payouts that you that are pending or uh, payouts that you have made. Uh, payments. So this app also had a, a feature where people could pay each other. And, and this is where things were being held. And then requests so from here you could request a pay a payment like you could ask someone to pay you and it will generate the qr code and you can scan it and on this pay section would be where maybe someone has requested a payout a pay a payment from you and they would just send you that qr code and you would scan it and then pay them this is your transaction history regarding payments this is your transfer because if I go to the transactions and I click on this transaction that I made today and hit this button, which is send. This button allowed you to transfer your sticker or send your sticker to someone, like gift someone a sticker. All you needed was their account ID and their reference. And then speaking of the account ID, you would get that by making a person a beneficiary. You add them as part of your beneficiary list. And then they would appear from that option where you want to send the sticker to someone. So for an example, if I click on this and I click send and I select the account ID. So you're seeing all these people and their account IDs and these are my beneficiaries. Yeah, and then you had your card. So this is where you would add your bank card. And this is the sign out. Now, I'm not going to go through everything, obviously, because it's quite a lot. Uh, it's a lot to go over for over a period of six months. So what we are going to try to do quickly is we're going to try to buy this sticker. I'm going to put in my card CVV. Okay, so basically when you get this to this app, you remember the part where it said like you need to add your card. So if we go to the card, we could see if I add it, I have a card and I have a card. I could delete it or I could edit the card. 
So whenever you try to purchase something, it's asking you for that card CVV. And this is a demo card, so just gonna do that. And it's processing. Once this is done, if it's successful, it should bring up uh, this item on my recent transaction. And here it is right there. Okay, that's cool. And now if we remember the the balance was about 165 before, still 165, let's just try to refresh it. And it's 175 because I bought this thing for, uh, for 10 Rand. So that's pretty much what it did. And then after that, you said, cool, I have more than a certain amount. And you could say, I want a payout from the savings I've made so far. And I have 175, so I'm gonna request a payout of let's say I'm gonna I'm gonna request all of it. I'm gonna send it. This is probably gonna fail with some error. Another payout is already in progress. Yeah. These stickers with the yellow thing are part of the payout request. And once that payout has been resolved and completed, then only then you can make another payout. Yeah, you couldn't make multiple payouts. So once that has been resolved, then the, these stickers will pretty much disappear from your transaction and they will move to your transaction history. Okay, cool. So if we try, let's see if we can send this to someone. And we'll send, we should send. I'm gonna send this here. I'm gonna put some random things as a reference. And I'm going to transfer. That's actually transferring. Okay, it's been transferred. So if I go to my account, I should not have that as part of mine because it was a 5 fan. And it's no longer part of my transactions as well. And if I do go to the transfers, the history, that should come up that I sent this uh, to him. And it gives you the details of like this. Uh, this is who sent it. I sent it to this dude. Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much how the saving side of it work. And then the payment side, if we go here, we click on payments, you can see the payments I've made to people. And you can see the amounts from there. Uh, so whenever you requested a payout, you would say, cool, I want to request a payout. Uh, and then you hit generate. So this would generate some kind of QR code which someone can scan and then pay someone with it. Uh, this would generate a QR code that someone can scan. So if you send this QR code to that person, you would, they would pretty much just come up here and they would hit this button. So this, this button here would be to scan the QR code. So you could scan it um basically what that scan would do is, is it would just populate these these fields with that information and you can hit pay or you can add that information manually but it has if it has been populated from the qr code then you can't change anything yeah so in a nutshell that's pretty much how this app worked it had a savings feature and it had a payment feature like paying people and there's a version of it that has a wallet uh, but it's a different one. Uh, yeah, cool. So let me know what you think.